This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albight Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium versus Canada. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the match begins. Davies. Can he convert? And the keeper taking care of the situation. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfil their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they're probably past their best. Some of their key players are now ageing, but they are a good team. They've got some excellent players, and with Canada, Croatia and Morocco in their group, I still think they'll go through. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Atiba Hutchinson. Oh, great vision. Giving it a try. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Alderweireld. Azar. Azar. Meunier. It has to be! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save.
Let's see about the delivery. Struggling to get it away. Meunier. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. But he's gone short with it. Happy to take on the shot. Well, closed down straight away. Gives it a go. Body in the way again. And the danger is averted. Onana. Here's Tielemans. He's managed to lose his marker. And over the touchline. Throw for Belgium here. Could play it in. Carrasco. And the referee has given them a corner. They favoured a short one here. Shot attempted. Oh, and a goal from Azar. The first goal to give his side such a boost here. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Carrasco. Promising move from Belgium, but quick thinking defensively. Alfonso Davies. Can he finish? Oh, he's missed it. Well, he'd be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. Alderweire. Onana. Aidan Azar. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Alfonso Davies. Is it going to be? And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Number 21, Jonathan Osorio. Minier. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Eustachio. And the ball with Hutchinson. And the attack looks promising. Can he put it away? He's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Could be. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. <laughs> Playing it short. Must be. Can they slot at home? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Keen to take it short here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Kamal Miller. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Oh, this is looking promising. Will he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. 
No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the action underway again, and the onus is on Belgium to come up with a response now. Disappointing pass. Carrasco firing it towards goal. Well, let's look at this again the one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure and then what a finish that's been hit with such power and pace the keeper has no time to react it's a brilliant strike Back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Even and space for him to cut in. It has to be. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Lukaku must take the lead here. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the finish from Lukaku demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. comes to an end well, Aidan Azar the sort of player just about any top club in world so back underway here into the second half Just cutting off the supply. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Jonathan Osorio. And the ball with Hutchinson. Well, they might be onto something. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Given it straight to the opposition. And getting in there to intercept. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Eustachio. Alistair Johnston. Could play it in. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Could be. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Tielemans.
De Bruyne. Moving it forward. Well shown inside. Buchanan. And into the last 30 minutes now. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And room now out on the wing. And giving it away. And he's in. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Oh, surely! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Tielemans. Minier. Here's Tielemans. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Lukaku might do damage. And effectively parried away by the keeper. Well, perhaps an opportunity here for Belgium to extend their lead. Short corner taken. Gives it a go. Just made sure nothing came of that. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Cleared away comprehensively. Tielemans. Now Azar. De Bruyne. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kevin De Bruyne. And Belgium moving the ball with purpose. Azor! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And played short. Firing is in. And saved by the keeper. He'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, no wonder he's smiling. Didn't quite come off for him, though. throw in for Canada Jonathan Osorio Sam Adekubi still trailing but they're upping the pressure and just like that they don't have the ball anymore Lukaku well now here's Aiden Azar well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps the minute. So the corner played into the box. Well, no danger now. Johnston David and the ball with Hutchinson and let's see if something comes of this well I think you could call that an escape it looked a certain goal and just five minutes remaining mini eight Romelu Lukaku now, extremely sloppy in possession. Atiba Hutchinson. Alfonso Davies. Well, do they have it in them to level this? They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Eustachio. 
moving forward effectively. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And it's a quality pass. Davies, defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. And the final whistle, an acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view, a victory for them here. Stuart, sum us up for us. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. A pretty useful night's work from Aidan Azar. Your verdict? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.